Hello and welcome to this Trade Radiators video. My name's James and today we're going to be having a look at the Saturn Anthracite Radiator. We've got a few different types here that we're installing at this house. We've got a single panel one going in behind us on the wall just here. We've got a vertical one going in quite a nice tight little space in the kitchen just here. And then also we've got a large double one going under the window in this living room here. The great thing about the Saturn Anthracite Radiator is, is that not only does it give out a huge amount of BTUs, but also because there are different shapes and sizes, the versatility of that particular radiator Radiator, and also the other types that trade radiators sell means that you can fit them in most spaces in the room and also still get the heating requirement that you need. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how we fit these radiators. You're going to have a quick look over our shoulder as we do each one, how we pipe them up and then how we hang them and then you'll get a good idea about how brilliant they look once they've been installed properly. So I hope you enjoy this video, I hope it gives you a better idea about what these radiators are capable of doing and how to install them and where you can install them and thanks for watching as well. Enjoy the video guys. So first things first, we are going to quickly just rug out this area here. We've got our single panel radiator here, this is the Saturn Anthracite one and what we want to do is we are going to put it central in this wall just here. Our two radiator pipes are just down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to run one radiator pipe obviously up into the nearest one. We've got universal TRVs that are also available from trade radiators. And we're going to run our other pipe under here and up into there like that. This is just going to be a standard height radiator. We're going into a timber frame wall here as well, so we're using special fixings for that. And really this job should just go fine. So the first thing we're going to do is just rug out where we're working. That's the most important thing. We don't want to be damaging this lovely new floor that's been installed. Right then guys, so a simple job like this, the first thing I'm going to do is mark the centre. So what we need to do is just make a measure of this distance here, divide that by two and then we've got our centre line there for the radiator. Now we've got our centre mark for the rad itself. Now really the next easy thing for us to do is actually to get the radiator out and then we can ascertain how far over we want to bring our bottom pipe. Because what I think now is a really good idea is to actually get your bottom pipe clipped and installed before you put your radiator on the wall, it's quite a good idea. So now we can start taking apart. We found our brackets on the back just down here. Just look at how well packaged this lot is. So when you're ordering a radiator, you know the, the, the chances of anything bad happening on the way in are really unlikely because they are so well packaged. So we measure this radiator there and then we divide that measurement by two. That one, this is 75. And now we know how far I need to bring this pipe out to here and also roughly where I need to bring that pipe there as well. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to get my two radiator pipes in along here. You can watch us do that nice and quickly. So there we go, we've got our two pipes marked here and our clips are in and they're nice and straight and level. Uh, we haven't soldered up yet at the ends because what I want to do now is actually hang the radiator on the wall, get our radiator valves in and get this radiator installed. Now we've done a video already about how to mark up and hang radiators, so we don't have to do that again. You can find that on the Trade Radiators YouTube channel. So what you can do is yet again just watch us do this nice and quickly and uh, it'll be kind of a reference point for how you should do this. So now we've got our pipe work done and these are all done, we're just going to make sure these are nicely nipped up. So there's no problems later on with any leaks. I'm just going to give that a little nip up there. They should be fine. And also what I've got to do is pop in our bleed bungs and everything at the top of the radiator. So there you go, you can see how easy it is to fit one of these radiators. Those brackets they've got on there is really easy as well. And also, you know, if you clip out and mark out all your clips first, your pipe work should follow nicely as well and be neat too. So let's have a look at how these radiators can also transform the other spaces that we've got in this house. Just watch us install these. So 
there you go. As you can see, this radiator has completely transformed this little space that we've got here right now. The pipe work across the bottom is going to be boxed in by the chippy, uh, but that'll also be removable because we've got a drain off in there as well. It's always very important to remember that any drop down leg radiators, they're the radiators that aren't run along the pipes along the bottom of the house, have their own drain off on them. Otherwise, you'll drain off the rest of the heating system, but that radiator and that drop down leg won't be drained if you're wanting to work on it. Let's have a look at how we can transform the living room space now with this fantastic Saturn radiator. So there you go, you've seen how these fantastic radiators can really transform your room whilst also giving out the required BTU to actually heat that space up. But at the same time, giving it a fantastic look and a great decor as well. All the thermostatic radiator valves and lock shields are also from Trade Radiators, so you can buy them as an accessory also. If you're interested in buying a Saturn radiator, then go to traderadiators.com, and if you need any more help, then also go to traderadiators.com. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye-bye.